Hey guys, uh, Mr. Calvert here. I hope that you are doing all right at home with your virtual learning. I'm missing you all very much. Um, it's very different being at school without students here. Um, definitely more fun when you guys are around. Today we are going to be starting a uh, two-day project based on one of my favorite artists and her name is Julie Morettu. Um, as I said, it's going to be a two-day project, so make sure that you save your project at the end of today. Right? Um, because if you don't, then you're going to have to start all over next time. So make sure that you are saving it. So Julie Moretu, there's her name. And Julie is 50 years old. We see a picture of here off to the right. Um, and she comes from a country called Ethiopia. And particularly, she comes from the capital of Ethiopia called Addis Ababa. And I might be saying that wrong. I'm not sure. I've never heard it said before. But that would be right here. So Ethiopia is kind of this reddish-orange country. It is part of Africa. I know that we've talked about Africa before. Africa is a continent. A lot of times when we talk about Africa, we think of it as being like one big country. It's actually one big continent made up of a bunch of smaller countries. So here's Ethiopia. We would be way over here, okay, over in Wisconsin in the United States. Um, so she was born in Ethiopia, but she did not spend most of her life there. She actually moved to Michigan, um, which would be right about here. It's kind of right next to Wisconsin. Um, and the reason she moved to Michigan is because there was a lot of fighting happening in Ethiopia, and her family didn't feel that it was safe. So they actually um, fled Ethiopia and immigrated over to the United States, where we are now. Um, now, what I really like about her work is she works a lot with things like architecture or buildings. Um, she works with blueprints or charts or maps, um, typically a lot of things that are very geometric, and then she layers them on top of each other. Um, so this painting, who knows, it could be like a map. It might be pictures of a building, like maybe this is a window right here of a building. Um, it could be a blueprint, like the drawing of what a building is going to look like before they actually make the building. Sometimes she'll take a building or a map and she'll look at it from different directions. Like if she's painting a building maybe, she'll look at the front of it and she'll paint a door. And then she'll look at the side of it and put it on top of her painting and she'll paint like um, some windows. And then she'll go to the back of the building and paint um, something else. So she likes to layer oftentimes the same buildings, but she'll look at them from different directions, kind of layer them. And part of the way she does this is she actually uses like a big projector. Um, so she'll actually project a picture right onto her painting and then she can um, kind of pick and choose different parts to paint. Um, I like that when she layers it, it almost creates like this sense of depth, um, almost like you can walk into that painting. Some of these things seem very far away and some of them seem much closer, judging by how she uses lines, how she uses different size shapes. Um, sometimes you can almost start to pick out things like here we see some red stripes and up here we see some red and blue. Um, almost makes you wonder if it's some kind of a flag or something. Um, so pretty cool seeing all these different uh, like lines and shapes. Um, her artworks are also very, very large. We'll see one in a couple of slides showing you just how large they are. They're ginormous. Um, a lot of times too she'll start with black ink and she'll kind of like smudge that on. To her artwork you can kind of see it here it almost looks like eyelashes or something and all these little spots and then she begins to put layer on top of layer on top of layer on top of layer um, of different lines and shapes so it creates this really complex kind of crazy chaotic looking painting i think i've got one more and there she is so here we see julie you can see how big this painting is. Now they're not always this big, but um, she does work on a very large scale. Um, so today we are going to be using different Google Maps to try and layer. Um, we're going to be using maps to pick and choose little parts of the maps to color. And then next week we're going to layer another map on top of it. So you kind of get this cool like layered effect with your different shapes. All right, so make sure to stay tuned for the next video so you can see what we are doing